Do you like to shop the Goodwill? My husband Mark and I like to shop the Goodwill. And sometimes we find something good to resell at the Goodwill. I know it might sound corny, but you know with Goodwill, sometimes it's hit and sometimes it's missed. You just never know. But this video is a compilation of several trips to the Goodwill. I'm going to show you a little bit of shopping and a little bit of haul and what we found to resell. Was it good? Keep watching and I'll let you know. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you're coming back, thank you for that too. This is a Goodwill shopping haul. let go of their teddy bear collection. Priscilla Hillman Vanesco. What's that? What is that? It's pretty. I just hope that tape doesn't damage the gold on it. Otherwise it's pretty. Which is it? No price. That's never good. Check that out, and it doesn't match. Look at these. They have circles on them. Hmm. I did pick up this nine count lot of Arco Rock made in France thumbprint fruit bowls. They're four and a half inches in diameter. Listed them for $49.95, and they sold on offer for $42.46 plus shipping. Mark, did you find something over here? What do you got? And these Glen Levitt uh, whiskey glasses. Two of them uh, for $1.99? Yeah, they might sell for 20 to 30 We listed this lot of two Glen Levitt Scotch whiskey glasses or sniffer glasses. We listed them for $19.95, but they are on sale plus shipping. Paid $1.99. This looks like Hershey chocolate mugs. Unmarked. Oh, what's that? It's kind of farmhouse. Mark, is this what you were telling me about? Yeah. You said it, what? It's, it's a. It's just stamped USA on the bottom. All right, that's a cute little farmhouse. Oh, little is that? Discoloration there. Oh, that's a lot of discoloration. That might eliminate it right there. Mm -hmm. Mark, mm -hmm. what do you have here, and how many pieces did you have to go find mm -hmm. to make it work? Well. I had to go find the top and the bottom. The two middle pieces are together. Right, $1.99 for the two. Oh, $1.99 each. They got all each. of them priced separately. Somebody doesn't really all go together. Yeah. So each piece but, is $1.99, so you got what? Oh, it'd be $8. It's Coca-Cola, and it's four pieces that make a Coke bottle. This piece might be the... Creamer. Yeah, it has a four spout. This is probably the, the sugar, sugar, the creamer, creamer and two and coffee mugs. cups. Wow, that's cool. And they're going for about 40. The stackable Coca-Cola set was in three different aisles of the Goodwill store. Pushed around, put it all back together, and listed it for $39.95 plus shipping. And one of the Goodwill employees gave us a discount because we did put it all back together and sold it to us for $4.99. Let's keep looking. Now that is a heavy water globe. Just don't know what you're going to find. An angel dish. $1.99. Some chickens, it's ceramic, and it's home coat. You know, some of these, well, it's resin. Some of these might have some value. It's really in good shape. Looks pretty good. I might have to look this one up and see. It's only gone for about $10, so $2.99. Have to leave it behind. 
We always check out the kitchen hard goods and the glassware to see what we can find to resell. And today we found some butter dishes by Cook Street. They're called Butter Boats. I didn't get them on video in the store. And the large one we paid $3.99 for it and listed it at $26.95. It is on sale. And the smaller butter boat featuring blueberries, we listed it for $19.95 and paid $2.99 for it. Oh, that's heavy. Almost might be recycled glass. Beautiful color. It's got some fruit on it and glitter. Free, free glitter. $3.99. And this pretty Indiana glass federal Spanish design featuring this dimensional fruit pattern paid $3.99 and listed it for $26.95 plus shipping. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and keep on watching. There's more. All right, I recognize these. These are Libby. Eight of these for $4.99. I know they're not marked on the bottom, but once you know the pattern, you know the pattern. I'll check them out and I might get these. We did pick up this eight count lot of Libby Christmas Winter White. Winter White is the pattern featuring frosted trees. And we listed the eight count lot for $69.95 plus shipping. And as you see, it's on sale here and we paid only $4.99 for all eight. Let's see what else they have. I don't know why those glasses are over here and not with the typical glasses. Anything over here? Some stemware that's a holder. Now I imagine that some people would like this. I like vintage and some people would think that it's gaudy looking. That's too much over the top. There's two of them. The flowers seem to be in pretty good condition. It's $3.99. And what's it say here? Sansco made in Japan. Well, you know what? This might just be my auction item for this Goodwill haul. See if anybody's interested. Look for the uh, information to click on the link to my eBay link if you're interested in bidding on this. I started at the asking price of what we paid $3.99 plus shipping. Here. That's heavy. Now it's this little angel. This looks kind of old, but the angel doesn't. Uh, I think I'll pass on that. That's this little guy. A little sugar bowl. It's different. $2.99 is heavy. Oh, it's a jam jar. Jam or jelly jar. Or condiment. Crystal, let's hold it up to the light. Mm, not seeing a whole lot. Might pass on that. Nobody's perfect. The coaster set's broken. Chip and dip bowl is attached. Mark said I need to check out this plate. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like Suma Japan. Suma Japan, that's a possibility. We did buy this vintage Japan Satsuma peacock decorative plate, absolutely gorgeous. Listed it for $29.95 plus shipping and paid only $2.99. We are back at the Goodwill and we have 30 minutes to pick out three items to resell, but you know me, there'll probably be more than three. Let's go. Will we find anything today? Let's find out. Hard goods first and foremost. That's vintage, but that works a whole lot. That's fancy. $6.99. I don't think I can pick it up by myself. Not withholding my camera. These praying hands have been here for a while. This might be Portugal. Can't tell for sure. About 
taken the label off. These caught my eye. These are pretty. Brass. Candle holders. Plastic. Fold me. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know these teapots have some value. In fact, I've got one listed. I don't know. I don't think I feel like messing with that today. So $3.99. Leave that behind. It's not too crowded right now. Okay. So let's go over here. Oh, this is still here. You know, some of these are starting silver, but that looks plated to me. Okay, in my book. Thank you for subscribing. It's got some patina, all right, but. Chest. I do pick these up sometimes. I wouldn't say that the avocado green is my favorite, but when it's pretty yellow, yeah, that's really, really aged. This is Wilson well well Manufacturing, here, so I have sold them before, but I think I'm going to pass on that today. I didn't buy this angel, but I went back to the Goodwill the next day and I bought two of these. She's Gabrielle, Angelic Messenger. These are night light covers. Bought two of those, listed them for $19.95 each. I also bought two of these gators and listed them for $19.95 each. And this adorable gingerbread man found two of those, listed them for $19.95. And two cupcakes, and one of the cupcakes sold. It sold for $17.95 plus $5.95 shipping. I wonder how many I missed. $5.99? Who is it? EO Brody. I know it's hard to see. EO Brody. It's not as white as what Fenton Mount Boston looks like. This is really cool. It's a trumpet light. And Mark, do you think that's a real trumpet? It might it be. Is. It's a load of crooked on top of the harp, but maybe it's just the harp that's crooked. So here's what it would look like with just a shade that we're trying out here. Mark, how old do you think it might be? Could go back to the 1800s. 1800s. It's got a wooden base, $7.99. Now the shade doesn't come with it, and I don't even want to sell a shade, but I just want to if, show you what it would look like. If it's genuine, it yeah. might be a reproduction. But you're sure that this is a real trumpet? It is a trumpet. No, well, let's show sure. them why, because there's a mouthpiece on it. Let's show you why. There's the mouthpiece right there, and they've screwed the, the heart into the mouthpiece. All right, I think we got to get it. It's pretty unique, one of a kind. Well, we went over 30 minutes, but we only bought two items. But we did buy that lamp, that trumpet lamp, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I didn't buy the shade. It was kind of dirty. I just wanted to see what it would look like. And on top of that, it's a lot easier to ship a lamp without a shade. <laughs> All right, uh, keep watching. There's more. There's always more. What do we have here? A blue banana split dish. Just one. Who is she? Email queen. Huh. Angels. Hershey's travel mug. I think I'll pass. There's so much Hershey stuff out there. I do not like the feel of this bisque finish. This might have some value, but oh. right now I'm drawing a blank on it, but I'll put it up on the screen what it is. Oh, this is pretty. It's inlaid. There's a little wine spot there. Love story made in Italy. It's $2.99. It's just sweet as can be. It's actually pretty scratched up. So I guess I'm going to pass. It's too bad. When I first looked at this and I saw the pattern, I thought of candle wick, you know, like candle wicking. But then I picked it up and it's not very clear. But more than anything, the base just doesn't fit the era of uh, the more vintage or depression glass that I'm looking for. So, and these are pretty far apart. 
on the candle wicking. Candle wick, I guess they call it. So for that reason, it's a reproduction and I'm going to pass. Mark is wanting me to turn around here and see what he's found. It's a, an urn or a vase, but it's Ooh, not just any. Here. It's the real McCoy. The real McCoy. Now this is a little pricey at $12.99, but yeah. is there anything wrong with it? It has one little chip. Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, that may not be too bad. It's not that noticeable. I didn't see it at first, so. All right, I say we check it out and maybe give it a chance. What do you think? Sounds good. Mark is responsible for this great find at the Goodwill, this McCoy pottery vase. It sold on offer for $40.34 plus shipping. Let's go over here. Let's see what we can find. You just never know. I just want to show you the difference here. This is what I'm buying. And this also looks like it has a slight pineapple pattern, but look at the difference in quality. I mean, you can see it when they're side by side. So these, all of those, I'm going to pass on, no matter how cheap they are. And the ones I'm getting, I get, I'm getting six of them for $8.99. So not cheap, for sure, but six of them. When I got home, I discovered that we only had five of the Paul Sebastian clear lead crystal glasses and the other one was also Paul Sebastian, but it was a different design. But we got them photographed and listed anyway. Ooh, pink, love pink. All right, that's pretty. Should I get it? Of course, this is sandwich glass. It doesn't mean you put a sandwich in it. And this pretty pink anchor hawking depression glass sandwich glass is the pattern of the glass. We list it for $24.95. It is on sale for $22.45. And we paid only $2.99. $4.99 for a set of seven. These are at Lennox Platinum Rim. And there's only seven of them. Seven. Always an odd number. So we have a cart full of these wine glasses and I went on replacements.com and that was my clue to make sure that we check them out for no scratches. Uh, they be clean and uh, if they're all good, we'll give them a chance. We'll buy them. We're heading up to the front window so we can check these glasses out, get a good look at them, natural light. It's still it's hard dirty. to see. Yeah, they're smeared, they're dirty. That's why it's a good thing that they have a return policy here, seven days. Can't tell sometimes till we get them home, wash them, and get them under our light, but we have to always make sure we retain the sticker or we can't return them. To clean these glasses, I stopped at Walgreens and picked up these Denture Cleanser tablets. Never used them before, but I've heard about them for cleaning glass. So I tried it in one of the glasses, dropped the tablet in, added some warm water, set my timer for three minutes, and it turned out better. Yeah, it was better. Not perfect, but better. Our other go-to cleaning supply is Barkeeper's Friend. And I do believe we used a little bit of that too to get them cleaned up. And this is what they look like now for the photos. I listed them in a lot of two for $59.95. They're 10% off right now. And then there's discounts if you buy more than one lot of two. I think we're done. We're ready to leave the store. We've checked out. All the nicky knacks and patty wax and all that good stuff. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.